Oh, man. Episode 13 with my brother, man, Ray Lopez. And let me tell you, man, finding guests on a podcast isn't easy. I knew that was going to be one of my hardest feats to keep this thing going was going to be getting guests. So I was like, we got to find people in your inner circle or people that you've known in the past that you were cool with who are making things happen. And my boy Ray, I could have done a three hour podcast with Ray because he is knowledgeable on a lot of different things. And he is such an adventurous person that he is so entertaining to talk to and he's so eloquent and articulate in such a rough around the edges way that it is hilarious unfortunately that was when I started transitioning from in-house studio to what am I gonna do next and the zoom wave hadn't popped off it hadn't even crossed my mind yet I wasn't hip to the game and I slacked on that and that is a a regret of mine so I may bring Ray back on the podcast in the future to talk about MMA to talk about his expertise which is mixed martial arts mixed martial arts is so prevalent in American society today and to have Ray Lopez someone I knew from back in the days and I have broken bread with open and be a founder of his own mixed martial arts academy after knowing him for being a graphic designer and I knew he wrestled in high school and he always had an inkling to go back and do something but to watch this man start a whole new life in mixed martial arts was absolutely amazing and I had to have Ray on the podcast to talk about that because not only did he start a mixed martial arts program he started it in Louisiana so we spoke about that we spoke about the hardships that you go through all the sacrifices you have to make when you want to build something for yourself we're talking about sleeping in cars we're talking about doing everything possible asking for help help and a lot of people don't realize it you more than likely to be an entrepreneur to own something of your own you're gonna need people's help you're gonna need to build trust with people you're gonna need to build relationships and not fuck them up to be completely honest with you because sometimes not all people have the, all the resources they need and all the, the uh, education or knowledge about whatever there is they're trying to get into 100%. They don't have that, in, they don't have that at their disposal all the time. So to watch this man go from a dream to a reality, I had to get him on the show for sure. Yes, gender equality was an important factor in that podcast. It's something that I wanted to bring up because it's important for for us as a society to understand each other. And part of understanding each other is knowing that, you know, females and males might want to do things that are against the status quo or against social norms and I'm glad that I had to that I got a chance to talk about Ray, to talk to Ray about how important gender equality is in his gym and it's great to hear him say that yo he busts the girls asses and puts a lot of puts an onus on them to strive hard just as just as hard as he does the men so you know if you're into mixed martial arts if you want to go to a place and you're in the south a place that's going to be a a family atmosphere like ray mentions on the podcast in depth 
Go to NOLA MMA. Go to that podcast. If you're into to, to combat sports, if you're into um uh mixed martial arts, you will learn a lot. You will learn what it takes to be a mixed martial artist because not everybody has that skill. And Ray breaks down why not everybody may have that skill and how hard it is to be a professional mixed martial artist. Also, he gives you like a glimpse into the world of NOLA MMA. And I'm glad that I got Ray on. It was a phone interview with a little bit of video on my side. I am looking forward to maybe getting Ray back on the podcast so you can see his energy and you can see how, how spry and how a, a amazing of, a, of just a communicator he is. So hopefully down the line, I'll get Ray back on. But don't miss that episode on Mixed Martial Arts, man. You're going to love it.